hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel if you are a QA please subscribe to this channel and share it to your friends so today we will discuss about web application testing guideline so what all you things you need to do when you are testing a web application so today's part is like uh, while I was reading James Bates blog I found this almost everyone in the software world thinks they understand the things yet almost no one makes an effort to study it so most of the people knows like what uh, web application and how to do testing of that web application but most of the people don't try to get more insights on that like no one tries to read the things so about how to perform web application testing properly or what things you may miss while uh, uh, testing web application so what is the complete guideline of testing web application so here like what is web application testing so as you all know web testing is software testing practice to test website or web based application for potential bugs it's complete testing of web based application before making live so <coughs> the things which opens in the url of that website and opens in the browser you need to test that so what all things you need to do while web testing checklist so you need to take care of this thing functionality testing usability testing interface testing compatibility testing performance testing and security testing so let's uh, start with this by live website only so this is the game 2048 that i love to play and i used to play when i am waiting for flights and uh, trains so here like uh, similar trials get uh, mulled when they you move that to horizontal or vertical direction so you can use four arrow keys to play these games so so if you are planning to test this game what you think uh, you need to consider so for functionality testing first you need to identify all the test cases so this is not video like how what all test cases you need to identify but uh, let's go faster like here like you have new game button so clicking on new game button you have press game which start with score 0 and it should give you best score you should have two tiles to play or start the games and uh, two tiles should be either two or four number and all the tiles you are getting is uh, in the multiplication of two numbers so when you, uh, your uh, tiles are nearby and you press uh, left keys or right keys so that time it should get mod and create big number or multiplication number when there is uh, no merger is there it should uh, always create new tiles with two or four number it should have proper guideline how to play this game and uh, this guideline should uh, be easy to understand so that comes in under usability testing and uh, uh, when uh, all tiles get filled it should have ga game over and users should be able to start new game so this is game over and that should have two buttons try again or tweet or share and here also users should be able to press try again and it should start new game and if it is the best score then it should update the best score and also when user gets 2048 uh, it should be say like you won or uh, you should go you if you want to continue game you can continue all the numbers should have different colors so if you are seeing like 16 32 8 every 2 4 every tiles have different color codes so this is a test case higher level test case you need to consider in functional testing so what more functional testing you need to take care of links forms cookies html css errors and spelling errors <coughs> so you need to check here like uh, there is no spelling error in this to look more professional all the links given here are working properly so those are the internal links if there is external links like for example you share it to facebook or tweet so those uh, things should be work properly and open that websites so those are the external links in forms like when you have to fill up the forms like to submit things you have to take care so i have my other uh, testing website 
so here you can perform your testing or even automation on this website so when you say like contact us form so this form has proper uh, validations like customer service i open email address i am giving wrong so it should uh, uh, here only is uh, on fly only it should have a javascript validator and it should say like okay your email address is invalid here it should give more uh, information like why it is invalid like at the rate is missing or something is there not just red order reference like uh, i should give or it should have a tool tip like what uh, order reference you are means and you can attach file and you can send that so while sent there is a one alert in will error address so this thing should be taken care uh, while uh, filling the forms also we we should have security things that we will check it and cookies so most of the website use cookies so all the uh, cookies we are using uh, we should test this cookies like if cookies stores at a uh, proper place is this cookies are secure if uh, a cookie is there i am not able to ask sign in again so session should be maintained using the cookies uh, i have like login for login i have create account and uh, already account i have signed in so it should uh, have proper steps to get through so those things you can take care if i am log sign signing up so it should ask login after sign up or it should directly login or not also you have html css errors that you should take care so while you, you are working on that website you should take care like uh, there is no HTML or CSS errors So for that if I have created other video there you can use developer tools and you can check the elements What errors you are getting in console you are getting some errors. So that's the errors should be reported to the developers So how to use the developer tools I have created uh, one video uh, Maybe you will get the link here. You can check in the that video that is very helpful tool for developers and testers as well so these are the mostly things you need to consider in functional testing usability testing what all things usability testing should consider so usability testing is more on like how easy to use your website for example when i come here there is small sign in button i don't know i have to sign in or not so when i start uh, things exploring things I found these t-shirts are uh, useful. I moving to cart and proceed to check out. Right, so this thing is like nice. It gives very good inform break things. And now the steps also here are mentioned. So when you are processing here, like sign in should be very secure. Like uh, it should give proper things like uh, sign in with google or sign in with facebook as well so this kind of things are usability things also these color codes are good so this is this is maintaining good usability things like i am in this tab i have visited this tab i am yet to visit this tab also usability is good like it is already mentioning me i have to perform these steps to get uh, this uh, order complete so these are the things uh, we need to take care also like if i am on tab it should properly have color code for uh, uh, same color code for active tabs when i am applying filters see this is not usability proper usability or html errors we can see so this is the thing we need to take care also we know so test in different browsers obviously so we have so many browsers in the market so most of the used browser chrome firefox safari uh, internet explorer if you are supporting or age browser you need to take care of those browser and you should test on that browser other thing is screen sizes so you uh, currently this is on my laptop screen size but you have to take care of different screen sizes for that i have uh, created one video how to, to get different screen size for free so currently we are using developer tools i am getting uh, different screen sizes so for example if i want to test on ipad so i can test on ipad screen size this website 
even horizontal and vertical view I can trust. So other things is uh, uh, interface testing. So interface testing means server's interface. So when you are making all the calls, it should get passed, and you should uh, your server should have proper interface for this. So you should get all the calls which you are making fast. So if you are getting some calls are failing here, you can uh, you can check with developers. So interface or your server and database interface should be proper. So if you have added something in the cart and if you are refresh this URL, it should not get uh, removed. It should store using cookies or some information like when you are signing in or you are filling the forms. All the details should be added to the database and uh, those things should get whenever you are coming back, it's, you should get your uh, uh, information from the database. So compatibility testing. So in compatibility testing, you have to first thing is like browser compatibility. Second thing is like uh, so Windows or operating system compatibility. Third thing is like device compatibility. So in browser compatibility, as already I discussed, like we should consider uh, all the browsers and even mobile browsers. Uh, operating system is like uh, Windows, uh, Mac, uh, Linux, and uh, Android, iOS those things you have to consider and third thing is i told is screen size so different screen size you have to test when mobile ipad uh, and uh, big size like if you are supporting uh, <coughs> television and uh, other things as well you can consider so in responsive size you can consider custom uh, resolutions as well in performance testing so perf in performance of the website is very important if your website is loading st very slow or if I press the right key and this style takes all the time so it gets boring and no user will come back or wait till your site loads so performance of the website is very very important so first thing you need to check is like how fast your web pages are loading Second thing is like how much it takes time to process like how much time it takes to add to cart uh, this trace so this thing is uh, one thing second thing is like the stress or load testing when thousands of users are using your website you have to create parallel thousands of the users using uh, JMeter or something and uh, you need to test this other thing is like uh, how much time it takes to load one page and how much time to load different uh, pages at the same time so those things you need to consider in performance testing also you need to consider performance of your website in different uh, browsers different uh, uh, different browsers uh, different devices and security testing so security testing is very important I am not that expert in security testing but uh, you can uh, first thing you need to know like if I have signed in then I am able to get my detail personal detail if I have not signed in then I should not get my personal detail at all second thing is like uh, how safe your cookies are third thing is like URLs like if uh, the restricted URL or internal URL should not directly open so when you are logged in and uh, after that you are using personal info and if you try with that URL you should not be able to open that URL so those things you can test as part of security testing so that's all uh, most of the things you have I have covered if anything I have missed in complete guideline of software uh, website uh, web application testing you feel free to comment the things and uh, thank you guys please like this video comment if you have any queries share it to your queer friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you